So, Bolton fans, this is the worst starting eleven that Bolton have ever had. Yes, things are the bad, worst, horrific side you will ever come across in your life. And they would be immediately demoted to the non-league if they played now. So here we go. Number one is Simon Farnworth, a bungling idiot who couldn't actually catch a ball. And if Felgate hadn't been at the end of his loan period and Farnworth hadn't been in the net, we might have won the 1986 Freight Rover Trophy final. Number two is Derek Scott, a right back at the right at the top of this picture. And he couldn't defend to save his life. Number three, Phil Neal. Yes, he was their player manager. And after we sold Jimmy Phillips, well, we didn't have a left back. So he filled in. And he was a good right back when he played for Liverpool. But he was past it by the time he was playing at left back. And, well, uh, we went down with him playing at left back. Hmm. Matt came, nearly didn't get into this list. But after he broke his leg, he was shit. Before that, he detracted Everton and Arsenal, but then he just went backwards. Sorry. Next is our captain useless, Dave Sutton, central defender, and possibly the guy with the worst haircut you've ever seen in your entire life. Now, uh, we went down with this guy in our central defence, so he was obviously absolutely wonderful. Matt Gavin, our right winger. Who we got into the club because we couldn't afford to buy Stuart Ripley after he'd played on loan for us. Uh, big mistake, he was useless, he was a journeyman, and well, he was never really any good. Number 24 on this picture is Warren Joyce. Yes, the ex United Reserve manager and the ex Wigan Athletic manager. He played for us originally, but he wasn't very really good. Nicky Brookman. Yes, number 15 on this picture. I uh, only got in the side when Julian Darby or Steve Thompson were injured. Um, it wasn't very good, although he did score a goal against Downs and one midweek night when it was raining, which I was there. Ugh. Paul Comstiff, possibly the worst left-footed player I've ever seen in my life. Uh, he missed a sitter against Trundlemere Rovers in 91 in the playoff final at Wembley. And, well, I've hated him ever since. Centre forward, George Agani. Yes, he scored one in four for us, and he scored an important goal against Wigan Athletic in the Freight Rover Trophy. However, uh, he wasn't very good, got sold on to Berry, and then his career just went down the tubes even more. Yep, number three on this picture, Steve Elliott. Brought in as a forward to replace George Agani, but he was absolutely useless. He was terrible. In fact, he only scored one in every six games as a centre forward. He was pathetic.